What's going on guys, Bud Joey672, coming to you guys with a video right now. So I want to go over the undrafted free agent class that we have brought in for 2019. Who's going to make it, who's not going to make it. Now, PFF has the Eagles having the best undrafted free agent class in 2019. Such a heavy class with draftable players that should have been drafted, never happened. Want to go over one position in particular, and that is the guard position. Especially at right guard. Now, Brandon Brooks has $11 million cap hit this year. I checked over the cap.com, $11 million cap hit. He will be a free agent in 2020. I think 2021, I think he will be a free agent. So two more years left on his deal. Now, I don't think the Eagles are going to resign him. He's pretty, I think he's 29. I think he's going on 30 soon. Um, so, but he's having a fantastic, Brandon Brooks is absolutely amazing. Um, I never had to worry about him in games. He left the Saints game with an Achilles injury in the playoffs in the divisional round last year. Um, so he is going to be missing probably one to two games. Now, going back to the undrafted free agent class, the Eagles have brought in three guards, okay? Three guards that were draftable guards in this draft, okay? But you saw how the draft went. Teams needed quarterbacks. Teams went heavy on defensive line. They picked up the two top linebackers. Um, safety, cornerback, um, you name it, everything else was drafted. Guard was one of the most less positions to be drafted in the 2019 NFL Draft. So if you want to go over some of these guys, here you go. There's three of them right here. You have Ryan Bates from Penn State. You have Losua Opita from Weber State. And you have Nate Herbig from Stanford. Now, two out of three of these guys in Ryan Bates and Nate Herbig um, both of them can play left or right guard. Now, um, this is awesome because the Eagles are definitely going to keep one of these guys. One of them is going to make the roster this year. I know you have Matt Pryor that we drafted from TCU. I think Doug Peterson and I think uh, before the combine at the coach's breakfast, Doug Peterson was talking about uh, you know Matt Pryor and, and you know excited to see him progress um, and take a, uh, a nice step forward. Now, that's a promising thing that he said that. And on top of everything else, one of these three guys will stay on this roster. All three are not going to be on this roster. And if they go on practice squad, they're going to get probably taken by another team. But the Eagles are going to keep one of these guys on active roster. And Ryan Bates, Lo, uh, Losua Opita, or Nate Herbig. And um, they're going to keep one of these guys and see how they can develop. Because um, you could find yourself in this batch of three guys in this class the next starting right guard for the Philadelphia Eagles in the future. I'm just so glad that the Eagles are are so are making this. I see so many teams that need so many spots, need so many positions on the offensive line. You take the Texans for example, a team um, that you know that went for a tackle in the draft. We jumped in front, um, you know, and, and we and we grabbed a, a tackle in the first round. You know, you have teams that have so many holes on the offensive line. They some teams ignore the offensive line, try to get all these superstars, but without the trenches. You really don't have nothing. You don't have a quarterback that has time. You don't have a running back that has time to run the ball. And you don't have any wide receivers that are going to finish their routes to get the ball in their hands. So you have a team in the Philadelphia Eagles, Howie Roseman, Jeff Stallon, have really, have really emphasized. Oh, oh, shit. Sorry. Sorry. Um, you have a, a, and Howie Roseman and Jeff Stallon that really emphasize the um, you know, the way that you start from the trenches and you pretty much draft outward from the trenches. And, and really, it's all about it's all about this offensive defensive line. But talking about the offensive line right now, so important. This team will be good for years to come. And if you can get somebody, one of these three guys that's going to move up or a guy in Matt Pryor that's going to be most likely a left guard. I don't know if he, if he could play right guard. Um, I think they put him in there. They put him in, I think, left guard, right guard. I think they put him at center, too, a few times. Um, just to see where he fits great. But I think Matt Pryor is definitely going to be the left guard. Um, I see one of these three guys trying to take a stab at right guard. Um, so to, the Eagles need to do their homework. They need to go. These guys have to go through training camp. And we need to see down the road which one of these three guys is going to be starting right guard? And who knows, at this point, maybe none of these guys will be. Or maybe they'll thrive on another team. Or maybe they'll get better by going to another team. You never know. It's a big gamble. But this is a very good gamble. And I, and I put it on the Eagles 
that they're going to do a good job. Jeff Stallon is a mastermind of the offensive line, what he sees. Um, and, you know, I just see it just by the way he, he destri- described Andre Dillard and the way he plays um, coming out of Washington State. So um, this is a this is very good news. This is great, you know, a nice upgrade for the offensive line. Someone that could take a step forward, and then by year three, year two, somebody might be ready in this group of three right here. Um, so that's about it, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. PFF has the Eagles as the best undrafted free agent class coming into 2019. Let me know in the comment section below. I will see you guys later. Shade squad up. Flowers fly.